How to play new Roblox War Simulator. Before we start, I'd want you to hit that red subscribe button so you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Roblox Funland. In this video, we will talk about how to play the new Roblox War Simulator. What is Roblox War Simulator? Having been created in May of 2020, the game is doing remarkably well with millions of visits and thousands of favorites in only a few months. This premise of the game is rather unique and distinct from any other on the platform. It lets its users fight in many different wars throughout time to consequently become the mightiest soldier of all time. This simulator allows you to experience all the wars from medieval to future times, placing you on the front line. These games test your grit and your skills. From your training at the boot camp to the line of the fire, as you rank up and level up to harder and more taxing battlefields, you are better outfitted to fight and contain the opposing army. Alright, I gotta buy all of these in order. So we're gonna buy the best weapon from World War II. Dude, literally a sniper. Oh, is that a flamethrower? That had to be a flamethrower. Okay, now let's see. Oh, tribal. Dude, that's cool. There's like tribal. Border. When you enter this game, you respond at the border. To get into the city for the real action, you need to pass the border. This can be done in two ways, either legally or illegally. To legally enter the city, you must be processed. This means you have to sign up for the army and be drafted so you can be sent to the war. Another illegal way is that you smuggle yourself in by crossing the border through the train tracks. As the game dictates, you are only spawned at the border if you are an immigrant or a brave soldier of the Red Army. At passing the border, you enter the city, but if you leave the game, you will have to start this process all over again. Boot Camp As a tutorial, before you step in the crossfire of an ongoing violent war, you are first entered into the boot camp. In the semblance of trenches and warlike environment, it serves as a training for you. And naturally, practice makes a man perfect. In the boot camp, you are equipped with a knife and pistol. This is more of a friendly match in comparison to the brutalities of the war that awaits for you ahead in the game. At every kill, you are rewarded with Robux. The kills you make also add up and allows you to level up. The level up pave your way for higher and more advanced purchases. Your performance in the boot camp brings you killing streaks as well. When you are deemed ready and prepared enough at the completion of your training, this completion happens when you have made enough kills and earned enough cash to cross the dimension through a travel portal into a new era. It is better to buy upgraded weapons and armor for better protection. This travel portal allows you to step into the ravaging era of World War I. Again. And... Right, he dead. Right, come on. I need to get the melee troopers, don't I? I need to find more of those guys. Right, let's push a little bit forward. There's a trooper there. I'm looking for the melee ones. Another trooper just there. So if I stand on the hill, there's a melee one there. I don't know if that was my kill or not. Weapons. Any war means several of advanced or traditional weaponry. Any intelligent soldier in the midst of the war would only be sensible if he decides to keep some sort of armory on himself. As a player, you have a long list of weapons to choose from to equip yourself with. There are a variety of weapons that you can buy. Knife. Costing about 50 Robux, this is one of the most basic and old-fashioned weapon you can own. Using the in-game currency, you can buy the traditional weapon. Another available items are cuffs. Now technically they are not weapons, but they remain to be the preference of the Red Army. Anyone who has these chooses to employ it instead of the conventional weapons, especially because they can be used through a wall. They prove to be very effective and beneficial. Since using these bounds, the person who has been cuffed, now you can command the prisoner to reset, jail them, or just shoot them as done in real life wars. Makarov 2 can be bought is a pistol handed to junior conscripts. Now it has a very poor aim and has easily dodged but this is handed to them for training purposes. Then there is a list of rifles and machine guns such as PPSH, M4A1T and M16. PPSH and M16 can be bought from the store while M4A1 can be bought illegally from the black market. Now what proves to be the most powerful weapon is the flamethrower. With the price of 1299 robux this can defy walls and can do damage despite them. Incendiary Grenade has a lasting effect at exploding. It will create a spear of damaging fire that will stay there for a while before extinguishing. Similar to this, a poison grenade at explosion will create a radius of poisonous gas that remains for a while and then diffuses. These grenades have a lasting effect and prove to be very useful in pinning down your enemies. Uzi is a submachine gun that can be bought from the secret gun store at the border or in the city. Another weapon that graces your performance with its exceptional abilities is Hot Blaster. It has to be bought at the price of 1,799 Robux, but you can have it for free if you go rogue and join the Mafia. I die though because this guy's shooting at me. Let's see if we can get over here. All right, there we go. Let's go back over here. I need that Groza, baby. I need it. You ain't ready, Fallen. You just fallen. <laughs> Y'all get it? Fallen, just fallen. 
All right, who is this? Who is this? Can I trust you? Can I trust you? Because you know I got the pistol out. I don't know if I can trust you. Can I trust you? Eras. There are six eras that you can enter into, but all of them need to be unlocked first. They are unlocked at a price. You need them to earn money first, which will then allow you to experience the ruinous and disastrous eras of each war. These eras include World War I, World War II, and the Vietnam War, the Gulf Wars known as the Oil Wars, Modern War, and an exciting innovative era of future war. Depicting the new treats as far more critical scenarios since the future is unpredictable and may bring unexplicitly enhanced menace and peril. Red Army You must unite under the red flag of communism, pledging loyalty and allegiance to the Soviet Union in order to defeat the evil, rivaling force of Nazi Germany. In the setting of World War II and its aristocrats and enormities, you have to soldier up and bow to fight to defeat the Axis. This is the backbone of the Soviet armed forces. Quick and deadly, any soldier in the Red Army should be swift and conclusive in their decisions and kill. As an honorable soldier, you must be ready to defend the homeland and show no mercy as an aggressor in a foreign land. You must lay your life down to protect your nation and must be quick to act when faced with newer situations that demand grit and skill. When you sign up for the army, you will have to wait 24 hours to have your application accepted. At approval, you will start as an initiate. Now you will be provided with one honor to enter the prestigious army. To promote from initiate to captain, you have to actively work and engage with your officers at the Red Army spawn, but you can also buy the promotion with only 199 Robux, which is how most players work their way up. At reaching the position of senior conscript, you can finally join the divisions. These divisions include Red Guard, the Spetsnaz, the Camouflage Renaissance Unit, or the Operation Facilities Command. You can also defy your morals and join Nazi Germany, but the only way into the KGB or the Officers Academy is through invitation only. You cannot apply for joining unless someone invites you in. No! <laughs> Spy, darn it! I was just about to get that guy to. Oh, God. Hi! Opinion on printer? You're supposed to say premiere. Opinion on printer? Um. Updates Roblox has a smart way of keeping the players hooked. They introduce new and innovative updates. In the war simulation, Roblox has been very creative and added a hint of realism. To perfectly present a simulation of war, they have added upgrades of airstrikes. You need to either employ these or hide undercover to defend yourself for it. There are newer and more enhanced tanks and weaponry. They take you by surprise and leave you utterly in wonder. You have to quickly think over and devise the next strategy or tactic to avoid taking a major hit and containing the damage by keeping it at a minimum. Another update smuggle allows you to coyly and quietly sneak in weapons or yourself across borders. This update also lets you adopt a pet that will aid you in navigation and against approaching enemy by alerting you. It is better to be well equipped than to enter the battlefield with poor preparations. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the next two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.